What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, in today's video, I am not doing any trucking vlog for you guys. Um, uh, it's a little bit different today. I'm finally saying goodbye to OTR. And um, a lot of you guys are probably going to be upset or um, disappointed of me that I'm quitting. But um, I finally decided that um, enough is enough and uh, I needed to move on and uh, for better things, you know. And so I'm actually on my last load right now. I, I really wanted to, you know, I was really thinking if I should take a video on this or, um, you know, just leave with you guys with my last video here uh, talking about this company. Uh, I'm finally going to reveal it to you guys. I, I know my other, I think, two videos that I posted, I just revealed it just because, you know, a lot of you guys already know where I work. And um, even if I didn't really um, expose the company, uh, a lot of you guys just figured out where I work. So <laughs> a lot of you guys are good spies out there and um, you guys did a great job on that. Um, but anyways, I'm quitting OTR and um, I just want to make uh, my last video and I guess make my uh, experience overall pretty much on um, two years. I'm um, gonna hit two years in December, end of December. Um, I count that as two years already. So right now, well, today is November 30. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna do my quick review. I hope this video doesn't drag too long. I know I always say that, but my videos end up being so long anyways. But I know you guys been waiting for this and I know I was supposed to make this video last year, I believe. And so, you know, this this year, man, all I got to say was uh, it's been rough and uh, OTR just became not fun for me, you know, especially with the things that are going on right now. If you guys are not aware of, uh, rates are just on the low, you know, it's like what's even the point of doing OTR at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just sad because if you compare to how much we make before compared now, it's just no comparison at all so but um let's talk about this company so i work for mcleod 9 trucking llc they're uh based in georgia um lestin is my boss um he owns three trucks at the moment he used to own four but you know my friend kind of like what do you call it he did some things right that my boss didn't like so he had to let him go and so he ended up uh, selling that truck. So now he only has three. <clears throat> and he was also telling me, you know, he might be uh, shutting down, but I think he's gonna continue on um, running his company. So stay tuned because he is gonna be hiring, basically replacing me. So you guys will be driving this truck, whoever like he hires. Um, if you guys want to know more information about it, just um, stay tuned in the video or maybe just fast forward at the end if you guys don't want to hear what I have to say for this company. Um, I just want to do a pros and cons, you know. So let's start with pay. So a lot of you guys, what matters the most is the pay, right? Because uh, I get a lot of comments on my videos. Hey, man, you know, are you making much more than Swift? Short answer is yes, duh, because, you know, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of giveaway if you work for a smaller company versus a mega carrier. They have more room to pay you more because, you know, they're not really paying bigger terminals, a lot of terminals. Basically, Swift has terminals in basically all states, I think. And, you know, for this small company, they have more room to give you that pay. So, huh? what is my pay, right? So, a lot of you guys already know, I get paid 50% of the load. So, for example, if the load is paying 4000 I get 2000 The downside on that, so I guess we can talk about cons on pay, um, I pay 50% of fuel, which hurts me because um, of the things going on right now, you know, the Russia going on, the war, and the uh, inflation going up, and uh, I guess Biden too. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. Um, I'm not really a, you know, don't really want to talk about politics right now. But po 
on the pay side, I get 50%. I have to pay 50% fuel, 50% of my insurance. My insurance, it's at 4,400 something. So every paycheck, I'm paying 1,100 something since I pay half. So every two weeks, insurance is 2,200 something. So that is my pay. And uh, when things weren't so bad, I'm talking about before COVID, or actually before the, before this year actually, it was last year, right? Last year we were making good money. I would say on average, I was making 6,000 to 7,000 every two weeks. So for this company also, they pay every two weeks, not every weekly. Um, just keep it, uh, keep that in mind. So basically, if you have you cut that in half, it's 3,000 a week to 3,500 a week. And on winter times last year, it was really good. I was, I got to the point where I had two weeks and then I got paid, I think 9,000 or 10,000. 10, I'm not capping. Um, I would show you guys my pay stub, but the pay stub that they always send to me is just way too much information about myself, and I don't really feel like sharing that with you guys, and um, if you guys just trust what I'm saying, like, I seem like I'm talking pretty serious right now anyways, just trust me on that. You can make good money, but at the moment, with the market right now, if you, I don't know if you guys heard like you know there's so many companies that shut down there's so many companies that um, they can't even pay employees their employees they had to file bankruptcy because man it's it's crazy out here right now but yeah that's how much I'm making now today it's pretty much little to nothing man I'm, I'm talking about like I would say local pay like local driver pays because I still talk to my uh, my old friend now he's local and uh he's, he's making 15 to 2k gross a week and um i would say last month i made 3,000 in two weeks and it was pretty upsetting because i was like yo you know what am i doing here you can make like i think i was making like 3,000 to 4,000 there was one time i made 5,000 which is not even a lot like than the local trucking, you know? I guess that's the cons right now. Uh, if you guys are gonna apply for this uh, company, just be aware of that. Um, I'm not saying that's gonna be forever. I think the market is gonna get better and it's gonna get back to, you know, the normals. And um, you can expect to, you know, make more when it comes back to normal. So I think that I covered pretty much the pay side. The cons as well, uh, every time the truck breaks down, I don't get paid. Uh, sometimes when the truck breaks down, it kind of sucks because you know, I'm not getting paid, like I said, but at the same time, you're getting the 50% of the load. So you could, it's it's how you want to take it, you know? Um, yeah, it just sucks sometimes thinking like, oh wow, you know, like I'm just here working for free basically. Um, there's times also, there's another con where you, where I break down and sometimes I have to call mechanic shops around me because, you know, um, yeah, I, I just have to because, um, my boss usually tells me, hey, you know, is there a mechanics around and I have to call and I would have to like, you know, think about how I will get there. There was one time you guys, uh, the truck broke down and it derated to five miles an hour and the shop that we called was 20 miles away so i can only run five miles an hour so 20 miles times four that's four hours it took me four hours to get to that shop running five miles an hour and it was so bad and i and it was it was just a nightmare you know and uh there's times like that where you kind of have to just find a way to, as well you know it's not always going to be your boss or lesson that's going to find a way for you to get out of that situation uh at the same time you have to like put, put work 
upon yourself as well. So I think that's that about pay. I'm trying to think of, uh, if, if there's anything else about pay. Uh, we can move on to home time, I guess. Home time, home time is very flexible. Um, as long as you tell them, uh, tell them ahead. He has no problem with you sending home. You know, it's easy as like, you know, if you're in Georgia or if you're in New York, I don't know where you want to go home. He'll just grab a Cali load, but there's no guarantee that that pay from New York to Cali is gonna be good. You know, you might take an L just for just because you want to go home. Uh, it's better if you want to like just like reroute somewhere that pays good going to Cali. That's a better way to do it, you know. But overall, home time is, is never a problem. Um, I never had a problem with home time with them. And if I want to stay extra days, let's say I was, I'm was i already home and I'm like, man, you know, I'm not feeling going back uh, just yet. Uh, you, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is uh, just tell them and um, he'll, he'll eventually just give it to you. Like with no arguments, you know, but like, okay, that's fine. So that's good, right? So that's pros. And let's talk about truck now. Man, there's, this truck, I mean, I already kind of talked about it uh, during the pay. Um, it broke, it breaks down a lot, even, um, I mean, it's an old truck. That's another thing, you guys. So pros, it's an old, it's an old truck because, you know, he's able to pay 50% of the load. It, let's, let's, let's just say he got a newer truck, right? Let's say like a 2021 uh, Freightliner. You think he's gonna be able to pay 50%? No, right? So, the cons of that, it's an old truck, expect it to break down every uh, every single, um, not every single time. There's times where I ran two months straight and didn't break down. It's just, uh, it's just luck, I guess, or, um, I mean, it just happens, you know, they're semi trucks and they're, they're, they get beat all the time. You know, we run like super miles, like 700 plus miles, sometimes eight, you know. And uh, you gotta expect these trucks are gonna break down no matter what. Um, you know, it's just wear and tear. Uh, but when it comes to like major breakdowns, such as when I told you guys about the death, it's terrible. Um, the engine uh, leaking coolant was was pretty bad. Um, what else was terrible that broke down? I think that's it. Like. Other than that, like, they're kind of just minor, where like it kind of just stop you from running for a day or two. The truck had an engine rebuilt that took about like two months. So if you are gonna be driving this truck, you know you're good with that. But it does it does pop up like to check engine light randomly and then just come off. I don't know what what really that is, but um, he already knows about it. I don't know what he's planning on doing. But that's about the trucks. You know, I'm, I'm not, re I don't really have a problem like it being like that old and um, breaking that much because you know, it's kind of expected. It's an old truck and at least you're making the money. So if you're looking to drive a truck that is like, you know, if you're, if you want to drive a truck that is nice and newer, don't, don't come here because um, you're not really going to get that. If you're looking for a company that a truck that's never going to break down, don't come here either. Um, but if you're ready to face the challenges and you're ready to just face it and if something pops up, you're gonna deal it like a man or a, a lady or a woman. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know you know what I mean. Like you, you kinda just deal with the situation and try to get out. You and you know, you and Lustin get to get out of the relationship. But other than that, I think, you know, the truck is fine. You know, it's gonna make you money as long as you put up with it and uh yeah it's give and take in a way you know that's how i see it so uh next topic would be tax so i get paid 10.99 on this uh company we don't get paid w2 so that means you're responsible to pay your taxes every year uh the good thing about 10.99 is you can write off some of uh, the expenses that you uh spend on your work Let's say you bought a GPS, you bought a new work shoes, you bought like a jacket, a work jacket, you know, like the um, reflective vest or reflective jacket. You can write that off. You bought, you bought a new CD, you know, stuff like that. Fridge, uh, microwave, you write.
write that off. Uh, I don't really want to put out my numbers because um, it all depends. And also last year was kind of mix of Swift and uh, this company. So I didn't really owe much tax because I think Swift had a lot of um, to do with my taxes because, you know, I was giving a lot into IRS and um, five months working here, I was kind of like owing money, but at the same time, you know, I gained a couple money with Swift. So what happens is Swift kind of just paid off for what I owe on this company, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. But yeah, I don't really want to give up my my uh, my numbers because uh, all I could say is like I didn't pay that much, but at the same time, Swift. And uh, also, I wrote up some of the stuff that I bought for the truck. And um, yeah, so schedule-wise, work schedule. Um, it's pretty hectic, you guys. Uh, I'm back to back, I'm telling you. I have no breaks. Well, I have like, you know, 10 hour break. <clears throat> but other than that, load after load, you are not gonna be sitting a lot. If you if you like working hard, like as much as I, I love working hard, you know, just making bread, this is the perfect job for you because um, if you work your, your butt off and just pick load after load, let's say you finish a load, you pick up another one right away, you're gonna make bank, you know, you're gonna make good money. Just uh, be patient and um, because that's how it is here. You know, it's not really by miles, it's by the load. You know, you're getting paid 50% of the load. So the more loads you do, um, the more money you make. But at the same time, you gotta make, you gotta understand the, you know, rate per mile because if you're only gonna make like a dollar per mile, then you're not really gonna make much because fuel right now, it's so it's so crazy. I don't even want to talk about it. I always do, and um, it's just too much, bro. It's it's pretty much taking all my paycheck, and uh, I'm not happy about it. You know, especially the times where I was making good money. Compared now, I just, uh, dude, it's not worth it. You know, um, if if it was back then when I was making good, then yeah, it's worth doing OTR. I was I was having fun. You know. Because I was like, yeah, bro, like, it's good money. But now, I'd rather do local because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense for all the work I'm doing and for all the sacrifices I'm doing, like, you know, staying on the road. For what? For pretty much almost the same as local truck, uh, local truck and driving? I'm good. You know, maybe once, once things get better, maybe, you know, but... I told myself I'm never going back OTR because it's not a lifestyle for me and um, I did my part you know I did two years and I feel like that's enough that's enough to know if you like it or not so overall I think that is my pros and cons I feel like I'm missing a lot but I really just want to make this a quick video and I don't really want to go MIA again with you guys I might be gone for 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 quite some time but my car is coming and I'm hoping to make some car content maybe but, but at the same time I might not be doing too much because um, I might chill out for a little bit but uh, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with my YouTube yet um, I'm gonna I'm still gonna test waters you know maybe try to stream some some games that I play and uh, go from there you know but uh, as far as right now Pros and cons of McLeod 9, it's not a bad company compared to like Mega Carrier. It's way better and it's way worth it. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, hey, you know, your boss probably told you to tell you that or tell YouTube this. No, I'm saying this um, as truthful and no sugar coating. I even told him, hey, bro, look, I'm going to be honest with my, uh, with my video and uh, whatever um, hurtful things that I might say. Um, you know, he's not gonna take it to the heart. He might actually, he's actually thinking of like, you know, he actually wants to see the pros and cons so he can uh, get better on his company or to the next driver, you know. But the cons is not really much to say other than that, like uh, sometimes I feel like I'm working for free when something goes down. Um, but that's something that I don't think you can, um, 
maybe he can like uh what do you call this give you like a like a what do you call that there's a word it's like a detention pay but like um i forgot the word but let's say i didn't uh the, the truck broke down for a day or two maybe he'll give you like 100 bucks or 150 you know for for putting it into a, a shop or whatever because there was times where i was at home well there was times where i was going to cali right and i had to drop the truck to um what was that place madera so madera california and i had to like lift back to my house so madera to to my house is about five hours and that five hours right there i didn't get paid and then now that i have to pick up the truck that's another five hours of my time i didn't get i didn't get paid and when i picked it up i didn't even get a load that day i had to wait the next day so it's like a whole day of me just like running errands and i didn't get paid that's the only sucks part that i see that's the the most common than that uh, I don't really like about this one about this company but uh, like I said you might not you might not want to think about about it that way because you know you're getting a 50% on the load <laughs> but at the same time it, it just feels like you're working for free sometimes you know and um, with the market right now the rates sometimes a dollar fifty and <laughs> dude like the, the truck getting it's getting like six six gal uh, six miles a gallon and um, the fuel prices is averaging six dollars a gallon so basically a gallon per dollar right so if you're getting paid a dollar fifty or a dollar let's just say two dollars a dollar is going to fuel 50 cents on you 50 cents on him so what you're getting 50 cents per mile you're pretty much working out mega carrier right so you know it, it sucks right now all that i gotta say but uh if you want to stick it out apply to this job or to this company and um wait it out and maybe the market goes better and that's when you're gonna make money i guarantee you because i'm not lying when i said i was averaging six to seven thousand a week uh every two weeks I'm so used to two weeks because we don't get paid every week. Um, so that's thirty-five to three thousand a week, and for me that is pretty good. Even though that's that was that's gross, but at the same time it's ten ninety nine. You can write off your taxes. You can write off all the expenses that you you do in the truck, you know, except food and thing. So other than that, I think that is it. And um, this video is already twenty three minutes, and I would like to thank all of you guys and uh Lestin for uh giving me the opportunity to to make money in otr because if i would have just stayed at swift i don't think i would have made any money i don't know you know i'll probably just save up like pennies and uh for him to give me the opportunity to come here and uh you know work hard and uh, make those bread we had some good runs you guys i'm telling you um it was great it was a great experience uh, I don't know if you guys could tell this whole year and uh, last year. I don't know if you guys could actually tell. As soon as I switched to transition to this company, I was barely making any videos for YouTube. Do you guys know why? He kept me busy, you guys. He kept me busy. It was load after load. I'm not lying. Soon as, I don't know. Maybe you'll be the next driver in this. And you'll be like, wow, he's right. You know, load after load. Even my friend said when he, when I put him on in this company, I was like, bro, there's no break. I'm telling you, there's no break. Load after load. Which is good, you know, for the work, uh, for people that work hard, that love to work hard, it's great because um, the money just keeps coming. coming. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you, Lustin and uh, Edwina, his wife. Uh, they were great. So Edwina is basically the his wife that is always the one gonna be helping you out with uh if you ever need a question about load because she's the one that sends you the load information it's all through text messages um this company never really bugs you for whatever reason uh, their trucks are not governed their trucks don't have like 
front view camera where you get like safety points. No, none of that, bro. Um, you do your thing, you know, we're all grown up here. And I don't know exactly his requirements. Um, I forgot to ask him, actually. But um, I only got to his company with six months experience or seven months experience with Swift. So with a little bit of experience, I think um, he might work with you. Um, I think he'll just uh, have a little, a little bit of interview with you and um, see what he says you know um, but yeah I think just drop your information down in the comments and um, I told him just to look out for people that wants uh, will be interested in working with uh, with them and uh, hopefully he hits you up and um, good luck to everyone that wants to come here um, it's great man you know not having a girlfriend in your truck um, but be responsible you guys just because the govern is not, uh, just because the truck's not govern, you're you're gonna go like 90 miles an hour. Respect the speed limit and uh, respect following distance. Be safe, you know. Like <clears throat> it was like for me, like coming from Swift, it was a um, it was a relief. I was like, whoa, you know. I, I feel like you know this guy treated me as uh, if I was like an owner operator, and uh, I had a taste of owner operator, and I felt like. I didn't want to do that, you know. And I'm glad I didn't buy my own truck because uh, I would probably regret it and just sell it or just have somebody drive it because um, this lifestyle is just not for me, 100%. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video. It's going getting too long, and I feel like I'm just dragging it, and like I always do. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I think I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.